Hello, and welcome to a Minecraft Texture Pack review video. I hope you're all as excited as I am, because today we're reviewing the brand new True Realism HD Texture Pack on the Minecraft Marketplace. In this video, I'm going to go through as many of the blocks, items, mobs, biomes, and other features as possible, so that you can see whether it's the right pack for you before buying it. I have to say, I really like this texture pack. It seems to go above and beyond what most other packs from the Minecraft Marketplace do. First, I'll go over some of the more general features of the pack. This texture pack actually has quite a few features that I've never seen before from a texture pack, at least certainly not from the Minecraft Marketplace, or on Bedrock in general. For example, is this kind of fog effect in the world, which reminds me a lot of what shaders do on Java, but I've never seen a texture pack do this before. It just gives this beautiful depth and dimensionality to everything. I also love how the leaves, grass, flowers, and crops wave in the wind, again like shader packs do on Java. I've looked at a lot of other texture packs from the marketplace, and I've never seen another one do this before, so I'm pretty sure this is another first for this pack. I also love the sky. Man, it's just beautiful with these clouds. Some other packs in the marketplace have these photographic skies too, but I think this is my favorite implementation that I've seen. The sun is nice too, really glowy. And here it is during night. And now during rain. One other interesting feature is the texture variation. Basically, I think it means that a certain type of block can have multiple possible textures instead of always being the same. So for example, with this grass, it has some pebbles, flowers, and darker and lighter patches, which just makes it look a lot more natural than if it were all the same texture. I know some other packs also do similar things, but I'm glad it's here. Oh, and another example of the variation, look here how some of the logs have cut off branches. Nice touch. And look here how one of the stone bricks has a chip in it. Little details like this that add up and make the whole thing feel more alive. By the way, the world I'm in is called Medieval RTX, all from the marketplace. Beautiful map, I think I'll use it regularly for texture pack reviews if I do more of them. Anyway, now I'll hop into a regular world so we can check out different biomes. Okay, now here I am in a plains village. As you can see, the mobs, they have 3D models, so they're not just the regular Minecraft blockiness, they, they actually have much more detail to them. Like you can see their nose, it's actually no almost nose-shaped. The proportions are just much more human-like. Oh, and a cat. That's cute. Here are some more cats. They are adorable. I really like how the crops look. Iron Golem looking sick. Cows are mildly creepy, but definitely more realistic. Pigs are hilarious. Look at how realistic the chickens are! Ah, the sheep are so happy. The model changes are subtle, but like, look at that snout. It looks much nicer than the flat faces of the default sheep. Salmon still have the default model, I think, but they look good. Now I'm in a birch forest. I wanna check out how rabbits look. Ah, that is cute. Look at how cool jungles look with the texture pack. They look so lush and green. This texture pack even makes the normal forest look so nice. The heavy fog in swamps looks cool. Found a pillager outpost. Looking nice and evil. I like the banners. Now I'm in a flower forest to check out all the flower textures. Once again, animated. And colorful. And the bees look nice too. Now I'm in a mega taiga. Man, the fog makes it look so epic. And a mountain up here. Found a taiga village. Looking very nice. I do like the spruce wood. Love the torches. How they're all animated and almost 3D. The flame is separate. Now the utility benches I have all lined up. Crafting table looking nice. Cartography table. Fletching table. Whatever that one's called. <laughs> furnace. Blast furnace. A smoker. And chests look great. And a chest. And a barrel. And... Notebook. And the furnaces are lit, they look even better. Love how they're animated. Okay, now it's night to look at some of the hostile mobs. <laughs> Zombies look awesome. Kind of derpy, but in a really cool way. Zombie villagers look as you'd expect. Skeletons look awesome. Look at that. All 3D. 
wearing ants. Creepers too, I love their legs. Strays look great too. Forgot about spiders. Oh wow. Yeah, they capture the spider look, definitely. This ravine shows the texture variation well. You can see the stone is all like cracked and varied. The dirt too with all these pebbles. Now I have all the ores lined up. I like how different they all are. They all have their own unique identity. Found a mine shaft. I like the rails. Wow, this texture pack makes caves look amazing. Look how, how epic that is. I think it's the fog that gives that effect. It makes it look so huge. The deep dark looks even more menacing and scary than usual. Wow. Oh, I like the look of this block. The warden looks pretty similar to default. Now I'm in a mineshaft. And man, does it look spooky. It feels like a horror game with this texture pack on. Wow, the, the stone bridges look great. If I were in survival, I would be scared. Oh, look at how cool the iron bars look. They're so detailed and intricate. Aha, I just found the end portal. Geronimo! Okay, the end. So far it looks pretty standard. Let's do the Enderman. And there's the dragon. It also looks pretty similar to default. And city. I like the endstone bricks. Look at this shulker texture. That is cool. Elytra. Now I'm in the nether, the crimson forest. These textures look very detailed. It's shiny. And here's a more pit forest. Found another fortress. These wither skeletons might just be my favorite of the mob textures. Bastion Remnant. So this is what the piglins look like. And this is what the basalt deltas look like. I especially like the magma texture. Alright, now onto items. These are combat items. The bow. Looks good. Crossbow. Fishing rod. Shield. Looks nice. Quite like the clock. And compass. They look expensive. Potions. Kind of a classic look. And wow, totem of undying. That really looks like a little figurine. Now onto tools and weapons. Here are the shovels. And the swords. And now pickaxes. Quite like how it's different designs for the different materials. For all the tools and weapons. Yeah, hello, piggy. Unlike default, where it's just different colors of the same design. Onto axes, which I think are my favorite of the tools. Look at how diamond and netherite are like battle axes with two sides. That is cool. And now onto armor. This is chain. Iron looks cool. As does gold. And that's diamond. Netherite. It's neat how they're different, like the tools. Alright, now here are the paintings. I think I got all of them. They'd fit in a modern house. I wish they had frames, but I still like them. And last but not least, I found this map with all the blocks and items lined up. I'll link to it in the description, so feel free to sit back and enjoy the Vivaldi.
Well, that's all for me for now, so if you found this video helpful, please do give it a like, and see you all next time.